the College Board has made a big deal about how they've dropped the hard vocabulary, the vocabulary that you would allegedly never see again, and that is only necessary for the SAT, how they've dropped that vocabulary, particularly in the form of sentence completions, just a question type, from the SAT. And it's true. There is no focus in the reading anymore on hard words, on words that you'll have to study with flashcards, that kind of thing. But they have retained some vocabulary or word usage focus, but not in any kind of innovative way. The way they're doing it is with vocab and context questions. We've seen these before on the old SAT. We've seen these on the ACT. So there's nothing really new here. The only newness is that the words are going to be relatively simple, and what we're going to have to focus on is the fine shade of meaning of words rather than some $10 word that nobody knows. It's going to be, okay, here are some simpler words used in contexts. How do those contexts affect the definition? What shade of meaning is being used here? So in some ways they're harder, but I think on balance, the vocab and context questions on the new SAT are easier simply because not as much hard vocab and you only have four choices, which makes a big difference. So what you want to do is you do want to read the part of the text that the the word is in in context. You don't want to just read the sentence. You do want to get a little bit of context. So I've pulled out some of the lines around the words here. And the basic approach is the same as it has been on the other versions of these questions. So read the sentence, get your word, cross it out, plug in your own word, and then go to the choices and see which one of your own words matches. If you can't plug in a word, then go to the choices, plug the words into the sentence, see which one makes sense based on meaning, based on context, and based on standard usage, how the word is used in a sentence like that. Let's check this one out. Da -da -da -da, long passed away, they had been living together as friend and friend, very mutually attached, and Emma doing just what she liked, highly esteeming Miss Taylor's judgment, but blank, directed chiefly by her own so she be, she's being directed by her own judgment so she is being the word i want to use here is guided and it ends up being one of the choices and that happens sometimes when you get practice with these you start putting in the word that ends up being the answer in the choices but what other words can we do here so directed by her own judgment guided by her own judgment um controlled by her own judgment the whole point is that she is doing what she wants to do so her judgment is guiding or controlling or directing her in certain ways. She's not being guided or controlled by somebody else. Let's go to the choices. Trained. It's not saying she's being trained by her judgment. Rather that she is being guided or directed by her judgment. Aimed. The Careful, this is a close one. So aimed would imply that she is being pointed in a particular direction, which seems to work, but that we need something a bit more all-encompassing, not just being pointed, but being pointed in a direction and then actively controlled in that direction, right? It's a more all-encompassing word rather than just being aimed at it. It's being guided or controlled or directed. So guided works, as we've discussed, and addressed just doesn't really make any sense here. So we'll get rid of these choices and we'll go with choice C. Let's try six as used in line 54 want most nearly means be very careful when you get a simple word like this we typically think want as meaning like to need something right to desire it as you might see in choice a but be very careful about that because these questions are going to be trickier than that it's not likely that the answer is going to be that simple maybe on an easy one it would but let's just be careful about a choice like a anyway let's go to this section of the text so let's start Let's start right here. The want or the blank of Miss Taylor would be felt every hour of every day. She recalled her past kindness, the kindness, the affection of 16 years, how she had taught and how she had played with her from five years old, how she had devoted all her powers to attach and amuse her in health, and how it nursed her through the various illnesses of childhood. Um, to actually, yeah, so we'll stop there. So the blank of Miss Taylor would be felt, keyword here, every hour. So what are they talking about? The whole point of this part of the passage is that Miss Taylor, the governess, is moving, is getting married, so moving away. So she's not going to be in the house anymore. So when we're talking about the want of Miss Taylor, we're talking about the missing of Miss Taylor, right? The fact that she's gone. So it's not want as in, oh, we want her, because it's something being felt. So what's being felt is how she's going to be missing. And want actually, in another shade of meaning, means to lack or to 
ha- were to be missing something. And that's what's going on here because all that's being reminisced upon is all the things that Miss Taylor did that will no longer be in the house because she's going to be gone. So it's a lack. So we like choice B actually for that reason. So desire, be very careful. It's a trap choice. It's not just that she desires Miss Taylor to be there, but that they're talking about her how her absence, that's another good word here, absence, how her absence will be felt every hour. I think that's actually a really good word. Uh, the requirements, the requirement of Miss Taylor would be felt every hour. Eh, doesn't fit exactly as a synonym for want and doesn't really map on with missing or absence. And request, same thing, doesn't fit with these, but lack does. The lack of Miss Taylor would be felt every hour, and then it goes on to talk about all the ways in which she would be missed. So we'll go with choice B. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.